Hello and welcome. It's a good day to be on the farm. My name is Chuck and this is Erlengrat episode 21 um, of my series. I still messed that up. It's supposed to be Erlengrat flour mill episode 21. I forgot the flour mill. Couldn't figure out when to say that in there. So anyway, um, in the last episode we were trying to get this hay off the field um, so that we can begin to get our cow pasture in this month in September. But first of all, we needed to get planting on field 14 here. Um, and we had quite a bit of trouble um, getting this going because we needed to separate and apparently cultivate with just the cultivator with the power harrow first and then come back and plant. Um, which took me a little while to figure out, and I apologize for that. This was a new setup that we kind of got, and because we plowed last time, we didn't have to do this section where we had to uh, mulch it like this. Um, anyway, I did just test it before I started recording, and with this planter here, uh, I was able to go behind um, that one that is going um, and giving the stubble tillage and actually plant just this little tiny section right there um, just to test to make sure it was working. So we're going to let this worker go for a little while and get a head start and then we'll flip it over and put this guy on a worker at one point in time after that. But for now we're just going to leave um, that planter and that weight over here while that guy is I'm going to say cultivating because I don't really know what else to call it as he's uh, making stubble on the field. So anyway, now that that is sorted out, we're actually going to turn the help window back off for the recording. And we're going to get the rest of this hay picked up or started to pick up so that we can then Actually, we'll come grab the hay in a second, because what I want to do is come over here and um, get a load of silage taken back, because I'm worried about hitting our bale limit when we're doing that hay. So we're going to go ahead and move forward with that. So first of all I've already got this straw bales on here. 21 of them. Um, we're gonna have to drop these somewhere so that we can then go load up with our silage bales. So we're gonna kinda loop around here hopefully and get parallel or close to parallel and then we'll drop these right over here hopefully not inside the wall but somewhere like that let's see how close we got them it's kind of a hard angle oh, that worked out pretty well under the awning there we don't really need 21 straw bales, but this will work just fine. And what we're also going to need to do is get a bale spike at some point in time so that we can load things into our mixing wagon, which we're also going to have to go down and pick up. Because we'll need that mixing wagon to put... Um, Is that a full load right there? I think it is. Yep, we'll take this one first. We're going to need the mixing wagon to help get um, help get the straw in for bedding for the cows. All right. So, like I said, we're not going to sell all our silage this year, or excuse me, this month, but we're going to sell enough to get us moving forward. 
is the plan. Give us a little bit room under the bail cap, give us a little bit extra cash to help purchase um, all the things that we need. Because just the pasture itself is 75,000 and we're only at 64 right now. So that is something that we need to address. But we should get, I don't know, at the height of when we sold the bales last time for silage, we were getting something like 27,000, I think, for a full load of 24 bales. I don't think we're going to get that because this isn't the right time of year to be selling silage. It's better. <laughs> Excuse me. It's better than sell it was selling it last month, but it's not where we want it to be just yet. So I'm going to guess 24,000. which is why we're going to hang on to as much silage as we can for selling in later in the year. But we have to kind of work with what we've got. Ooh, 24.797. Pretty close. I'll take it. That is not going to be enough for us to afford a mixing wagon, though. That's barely enough for us to buy the pasture and get some cows and lease the trailer that we need to haul those cows with. And before we buy the pasture, we do have to get the hay off the section where we're going to put it. So maybe we'll do that next. But yeah, in this episode, we will get some cows in a pasture. That is my goal. We're also going to get as much of that field ready as we can. And then I'll probably do the rest of the hay baling off camera. Just because you guys have seen me bale enough in past videos. You don't really need to watch me do it again. Whoops, took out that street sign. I was going wide to avoid that yellow van. But I went a little too wide and took out a street sign. Because that's what happens. Alright, so we decided on the kind of southwestern corner of field 16 here that that would be a good spot to put let's I'm sure we haven't bailed over here when would we have done that but I'm just gonna check so we're gonna put the pasture down here where it's kind of hilly but kind of flat but we do have three strips of hay we need to get off of here so let's go grab our baler and get this hay off of here otherwise what was the point of mowing that um, and then we'll throw it on the pasture and then we'll go get some water and go from there and at some point in time, we'll have that zetter flop and grab that planter and start getting that field planted. It'll be a pretty busy day, I think, today, but we should be able to get through most of it. Um, but there's just so much baling to be done on the farm right now. Because even with all of that, uh, even without all of the hay baling that we're working on doing right now, Can we lift that? Yeah, let's lift that for the driving purposes. Even with all the hay baling, without all the hay baling we do, we have two giant fields of straw yet to get off of here. So we'll have to figure that out as well. And this is where having that forging wagon would be really nice because we could just run down one of these strips of straw that's sitting out here on the fields and... Um, get enough loose straw to get started but we don't have that available so 
and I guess we're going to start right down here. So we're going to lower that, turn that on, and turn that on. And as our pickup up, it is. So we're going to lower that as well. All right, so we're just going to get whatever we need to off of this section so that we can put our pasture here, and then we'll go get that water and then start moving the cows over. And this would be much quicker if um, we weren't going to transport them ourselves, but I don't want to pay that fee. And to be quite honest, we can't really afford it right now. So let's see. Going to put our auto drop on, which is probably silly because now we have to go pick these things up from where we're going to put the pasture. But all right, so we're going to pick this up. Nope, not that pick up this um, front end. Oh, it is up right now. Interesting. So that looks quite a bit cleaner when we get that hay up off of there. Going a little too fast, probably missed just a little bit there. And we'll keep going here. On the bright side, this hay will be right where we need it. Drop that one there and loop around the back here. And given this hill, we should probably not be coming this direction, but that's okay. Drop that down and start making a swath out of this. And it, you're not supposed to turn that much because then you start missing things like I did there, but this will at least get us in the ballpark. And like I said, this is enough bailing for you guys. Just these, just this little section I'm doing here um, will probably be plenty. that I think I will do most of the hay baling around the edges off camera um, while we're either cultivating or um, Well, we're either cultivating or planting on that one field with a worker. I'll just run around and get all this hay picked up, and then we'll cut back in at that point with um, how much I've gotten. And hopefully, if everything works out, that'll be between videos because we'll get far enough in this episode to at least get some cows in here, and then nothing exciting is going to happen. Just a lot of work on the farm, just getting the rest caught up. So... That's my goal. Who knows if I'll make it or not, but that's what I'm going to try to do. And then we're going to turn this just a little bit to get that there. And so we're going to turn that off. Turn that off. Disconnect that. Disconnect that. And I don't have a bale spike, but I'm going to see if I can get my pallet forks to move those bales before we put the pasture down. Because once we put the pasture down, I don't know if I can get in there to get those out. So, another question will be answered here shortly. And I hear my chickens. I should really check on those chickens. Where are my... 
arms. My front loader arms. Clearly I have dumped them somewhere. I don't see them in there though. Were they behind this thing? Nope, that's the tether. That's the header. Guys, I'm losing my mind. Where did I put my front loader arms? When was the last time I moved a pallet? They're on. <laughs> They're on my Zetter. Alright, hold on. We're going to... Dismiss that worker. Come forward, lower these arms. Detach those. Then flip this around. I was like, they've got to be around here somewhere. And, since we're here, let's pick up that weight. Because I was a little worried about cultivating with this Zetter without a weight anyway. Seems to be doing just fine, but... This Zetter does have some problems. Shifting and steering and all the things, so... No need to make any of that worse by not using a weight when we currently own one. Alright, so we're going to use this. And let him get started. Make sure we line that up correct, and we did. Alright, so let's go down and grab those. See if we can get those two bales moved out of the way. Exciting stuff, I know. But we need to get the bales moved out of the way so we can get the pasture done. And then i got to run around and make a thousand <laughs> hay bales. Um, not a thousand. Clearly an exaggeration. We need to make about 30 hay bales from what we've already harvested off of our field. And we're just going to run diagonal here. I do not like... See, this is the problem with um, doing what we did and harvesting all at once. It's going to take us months to get all these fields turned over and prepared. They're going to just be overgrown with weeds. They look terrible when they're all weeded like that. Can we, can we just stab it? Yep, we can. So let's run over here. And... I'll just drop it there. Nope, drop it there. And then we'll move that other one. Probably going to have to move that third one too. And it looks like we missed just a tiny little pile of hay there. We're not going to come back and grab it. Hopefully the cows will eat it, but I don't think they will. So. Alright, and let's get this third one out of the way just for good measure. Well, eventually I do want to get bale spikes for mixing, but it's good to know that we can do this with the pallet fork in a pinch. It's probably not very good for your bales, but... Okay, so we have 88849 It costs us 75 for the pasture, so let's back up a little bit and see about getting that pasture in. Ooh, another telehandler. We don't need one, guys. I want one, but I don't need one. Construction, animals, cows, 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 cows. We're on cows. All right, so, yeah, this one requires water and can only hold 15 cows. 
but yeah, 15 to 45 is three times, but 75 times three times is 225. This one's 254 anyway, so we're literally just buying a third of the one that we'd want to get eventually. So I think that's okay. So if we get this here, I can't see that. Hold on. There we go. I need to see that fence. So we're going to literally just put this overlaps with another object. What other object? We tested this before. Is that hay considered an object? That hay that we haven't picked up? There was a spot, guys, right here. Yeah, so it's this pile of hay. We can f fit it between these two piles of hay. Well, that's not great, but it works. 75, 893. 886, 970, where was it? Where's our 882? 892, that's not bad. And I can't tell. Is that 892, 885? I think that's about as good as it's going to get. And that leaves us plenty of clearance on the front. All right. Oh, man. That made the front of this hill very bumpy. Don't like that. So we have to be able to tractor up here to put the cows in. And then they're just going to wander around back there. So we need to be able to bring the water tanker here, dump the food there, grab the milk here. Oh, I don't like that at all. And of course, I did not save it. And it just, I did not expect that to be, to really mess up our land like that. Can we even drive up here? I guess we'll find out. This is the one thing about putting all these things on farm sim. It's better to work on the flat land if you can. Like I had been doing for our other buildings. Ooh, that's going to be bumpy. Technically, we can probably do it if we smooth out the ends. Um, and then this is going to be what a big... Oh, yeah, that is not going to be a good way to drive our cow trailer or any of the other things up here it's just man that is really messed up all right well let's see if we can here we're just going to shut that off just another thing to delay us getting cows in here um not what i want but let's see if we can just fix this with our landscaping tools Sculpting, raise, lower, level, soften, slope. Sounds like it's painting. Did that make it better or worse? I don't feel like that made it any better. In fact, I feel like that might have made this part here worse on the slope. Guys, this is pretty bad. I don't know if I'm going to be able to live with that. I mean, I don't know what else we would do. But 
number one, it killed all my grass. Number two, it is terrible to... Okay, so flatten must not be the one we're looking for. Um, we want sculpting. Soften. Is that doing anything? Other than costing me a lot of money. Okay, that's working a little bit on that unevenness there. It is. Boy, is that running down our cash, though. All right, that was soften. I feel like that did a little bit better. Yeah, that uh, helps. Certainly doesn't fix it, but helps. Makes that a little bit more smooth. Okay, let's just keep trying that. Is that the intensity of it? Spending thousands of dollars on landscaping. That's not... That didn't really make that any better. Oh, what do you think, guys? Do we just make it work for now? I'm going to be really sad to have this, even if we deleted this now, we'd still have our land all terribly torn up from this. I did not expect it to do that to our... Maybe we should have put the um, loading and unloading spots up here. Well, regardless, let's look at the cows real quick. So, brown Swiss is what we want. Um, these are good for milk, which is what we're trying to do here. Um, the calves at zero months cost $200 each and $50 for shipping. These 12-month-olds uh, would actually start making milk immediately. But they're $1,100, so they're like five and a half times the cost of just getting a baby calf. Um, these 18-month-old ones can start reproducing. 
but again, 1500 no, and this is $100 shipping. So this is $50 shipping is not too bad. If we're only going to get 12 cows anyway, two trips in the trailer will uh, that holds six cows would be 12 cows, um, $50 each. Actually, let's just see. We'd lose $600 shipping here. But it literally is going to cost us 1200 to rent the trailer, which we're not even going to spend on shipping. So maybe we should just ship them. Yeah, I say we just ship them. And boom. Cows. Why do they look darker than I was expecting? Brown Swiss, yeah. All right, so those are our 15 cows. We need to feed them and water them. So luckily, this is right here. Since we already stacked those real nice, let's just take this and, of course, cause it to roll down the hill. And we'll bring this up here and drop it in there for them. Oh, it's such a rough transition. And that brought them effectiveness went up. Um, productivity, water, milk, total effectiveness. I hope they need water. Um, they don't need any straw. Straw is usually right under milk up there, but I guess because we're not going to be producing manure or slurry, we probably don't need any straw. So that's good to know. So I guess we don't have to get the mixing wagon today, which is going to save us some money. And we don't have to... Um, Yeah, no mixing wagon is going to save us some money for now, and no um, animal transport saved us time that, you know, we of course spent just, uh, yeah, so their effectiveness is up there at 80% for now, 9,000 liters, they seem to be fine, all right. Let's run down to the station and grab our some water. And I am going to probably get some bale spikes. Eh, I'm not going to get bale spikes yet. So let's just take this and drop these in here too. All right. So we're going to head down, grab that water trailer, water our cows, and that'll do it for this episode. So, again, not getting any of the things that I needed to get done, done, um, other than getting the cows in. And I'm going to have to figure out something about that ground we really royally messed up in front of our cow shed. But... I wanted to get cows in episode 20. We just didn't get there because we were messing with the cultivator and the cedar. Wanted to get cows in 21 and didn't want to spend the entire episode landscaping the front of that. So 
I'll probably take some time between this episode and the next one to, number one, get all those hay bales, or all that hay baled around our margins, start the planter, um, just so we've got that going, and um, lastly, we're going to probably work on landscaping that a little bit better to see if there's anything I can do to make this a little bit smoother of a drive to get up there and feed them. Luckily, because we don't have to drop straw off there, we're just driving one or two hay bales up at a time. We're not driving a giant animal transport trailer up there either because we're just not dealing with enough cows to make that worth it. So the hardest part is going to be watering and uh, getting the milk out with this tanker and I think we'll be able to manage if we just go slow so that's fine we'll work on that here in a minute but first uh, we just got to go finish getting this part watered so anyway um, let me just run down to the river here real quick we will grab some water out of there because we don't have a well on our farm and we're certainly not going to pay for one after all the other expenses we've got going and then even when you have a well you have to pay for water on your on your farm so this will hopefully be less eventful than all the other steps that we have taken to get those cows in the pasture so there is this big section of water up here to the west of the map and we're just going to try to find a spot where we can back this trailer down so oh ouch that is the edge of the map don't run into that at 40 miles an hour it will cause all sorts of problems okay can we get down to the water anywhere down here think maybe right here so we'll try to back this down nope that's not gonna work all right we're gonna try it from this angle and if we go a little bit farther down there we go. So see that's filling up. We'll get 8,000 liters here. That should be enough to get our cows moving forward. And also this will be the same tanker that we use to water the greenhouse once we get one of those for making the strawberries for our cakes as well. Don't really like going down here like this but on the bright side we'll be able to skirt field 17 here and then just our cow pasture is actually really close we took the long way around to get down there I just didn't realize that road ended right there because I'd never driven that way so and eventually we're going to buy a field 17 as well but we're just not quite there yet so all right let's just get the water in there we'll take a look at what we've got hopefully we can pull it up here without too much trouble and we're going to unload here i'm going to unload here and that will do it for this episode so let's just take a look at what we've got going on on our thing here so now they've got water they've got food they will be just fine so that's going to wrap it up here thanks for watching guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it give a subscription if you haven't yet and uh, catch you guys in the next one have a good night bye bye